I'm JW Napic, and welcome to video three of the SCL Secure Communications video series. In this video, we will be discussing how to configure the team software in order to automatically collect event reports and store them on our server. In order to do this, we will come into our connection directory that we started on in the last video. We'll be clicking on the team device in the connection explorer. You will see that we do have an active license and come into the DDC instances. We'll click the edit button. You will see the host name from where we installed the software. To add a new connection, we will click Add, and you will see the DDC wizard pop up. Through this, we will make a few decisions, including how we want to connect to the system. In this case, we are using Ethernet, so we will be using the Telnet option. Click Next. We are not going to be listening for the RTAC in this case. We will be actively polling it. So we will skip the screen and finish. We will click the Apply and have the settings saved for that device. Within the 3620, we will also be editing the Team tab for this device by clicking the Edit button and coming over to the Team tab. In this device, we will be adding the communications channel that we just created in the Team tab for the DDC service. By clicking Next in the wizard window, we will see our admin PC host name. We will click Next, and we'll see the network connection that we just created, and click Next. Finish out of this wizard and apply the settings. We'll next come into the RTAC team tab, and you'll see that the communications channel has already been established, inherited from the 3620. In order to change other settings, we will click the edit. We'll come over to the poll RTAC section and click the configure button. We will make sure that the enable job checkbox is selected, continue to the next screen, and we'll choose how often we want to poll for our events. In this case, we're going to be showing minutely every one minute polling, and we will finish out of this screen. We will click Apply in order to save the settings. We can do more advanced team jobs by double-clicking on the Jobs window and finding the Event Collection sub-tab. Within this Event Collection sub-tab, you will see that there is a ComTrade option. So back in the Jobs, we can create a ComTrade collection task by clicking Edit, clicking Create, and going through the wizard. The job name will be ComTrade. Click Next. We will be using the ComTrade task that was default into the system. Move it over to the right-hand side, Next. We are not using any of the user commands, so we can skip the screen. We will see a complete list of job tasks for this job, and we will be able to decide how we want the event file stored. The default will be fine for this case. We will finish out of the job wizard. Click ComTrade. Click Apply. In the 451 device, we will come to the Team tab. We will edit, and we will add that ComTrade polling job. You will see our ComTrade job that we just created. We'll make sure that the Enable job is selected. Click Next. We will be doing this minutely as well, every minute, and we will finish this. This polling job allows us to collect the ComTrade formatted event reports from the 451. Remember to click Apply to save your settings. This concludes this video. In this video, we discussed how to configure the SEL team software uh, within the Connection Explorer. We looked at how to set up a polling job for the RTAC, as well as a polling job for the 451 for ComTrade type events. In the next video, we will be discussing how to configure the SEL 3620 in order to open up the connection port for communications into the rest of the system. Thank you for watching.